Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tacoma Cyclist. I'm the Tacoma Cyclist, and Boogeyman's at school. So, uh, I know what you need more of in your life, and that is, you need more unboxings from guys dressed in suits. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you an unboxing. Uh, just got off of work, so literally came home, found it on my porch, and I wanted to do a legit unboxing, as in, like, this is still sealed, so... You know, you'll see it for the first time you know, the same time I do. So, let me open this up and I'll tell you what it is. Okay, it's supposed to just tear right here, but I gotta be smarter than that apparently. <clears throat> Alright, Fourth Frontier. The Frontier X. Alright, if you don't know what this is, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link down below. Uh, as a cyclist, as a person who exercises, I track my heart rate. I track my heart rate in a lot of different ways. I've got a heart rate monitor. I've got a video. I'll post a link to it up here about the Skosh, Sosh, whatever armband. That does not work, by the way. I've had a lot of people say, oh, it works for me just fine. I'm sorry to tell you, it doesn't work. Um, I've, pl I've tried it every way I could possibly imagine and it doesn't work. Uh, I've tried the Wahoo ticker. Works okay until it stops working. I've tried the Garmin, same thing tried knockoff ones off of Amazon, same thing. Okay, so this isn't really a heart rate monitor. In fact, this is a chest-worn EKG, ECG, depending upon, you know, whether you're German or American, electrocardiogram. It's a heart, a chest strap worn ECG. So a little outer sleeve here. Packaging's pretty nice, which is good because this thing's $500, $500 for a heart rate monitor. Um, if you get one of their many sales, you can get it for $400, $399. Um, I can tell you, this has got a 30-day return policy on it, and if it doesn't live up to what I think it needs to, the sucker's going back. But uh, all the promises about this thing are pretty encouraging. I will tell you, uh, as a cyclist, like I said, I measure my heart rate many different ways, many different times throughout the day. I don't use the wristwatch ones, they don't work. I use finger-based ones, I use chest strap, electronic-based ones. Um, I also, uh, like many of you that are athletes, have some irregular irregularities with my heartbeat, and I'm working with a cardiologist right now to figure that out. Um, I, I'm finding that a lot of my athlete colleagues have similar things, like... Uh, um, Atrial fibrillation seems to be relatively common amongst athletes. So, I, I guess they're trying to deliver something else too. Um, <clears throat> so I decided to get this because frankly, I'm an old man. I'm 45 years old and I wanna know what's going on in my heart. Um, if I get irregular heartbeats, if I get, if I'm stressing my heart too much. Uh, I've known way too many people that have died because of heart problems. Now my cholesterol is ridiculously low uh, I'll put an image of my most recent blood test right here, in fact. Um, my cholesterol is really, really low. All of my numbers are great. They're golden. They're in the green. So they're where they need to be. Um, so I just want to, you know, keep an eye on things. All right, so opening this bad boy up, got yourself a quick start guide. And it looks like it's got a nice little QR code. There is an app that goes along with this. So my assumption is that the quick start guide... Um, this QR code does one of two things. It either opens the app or it takes you to a digital version of the quick start guide. Um, I'm a big fan of having everything be digital nowadays. All right. Um, this is it. This is the heart rate monitor right here. And again, this is more than just a heart rate monitor. This is a chest worn EKG, ECG. Uh, power button is located on the bottom. When you power it up, there's some nice little indicators right here on the top. Some blue, red, and green indicators. And then there's a full on screen. And I'm hoping you can see that, but I will do some close-up shots as well, just to give you an idea. Okay. Again, the packaging is solid, impressive, all the things that it should be considering it's a $500 heart rate monitor. Now I'm going to beat that point up, but I also want to point out something to you. Uh, if heart health is something that you're serious about and this is, and you, you have experienced any concerns whatsoever, to me, $400 or $500 is actually a small price to pay. I just paid that much amount for, for my blood work to be done. Um, why not pay for this? I will also tell you, I did just submit 
a claim on this for my FSA, my flex spending account. Those of you that are in the United States, you can set aside a small amount of money or any amount of money up to a cap out of your pre-tax money and it's supposed to pay for stuff like this. I don't know if this is going to get approved. I mean, hell, they have, they reject silly claims, but I'm going to see if my FSA will pay for this. I will provide an update. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give a full review of this. Uh, and in that review, I will mention whether or not my FSA claim was accepted or not. Charging cable, uh, USB micro. All right. Uh, first ding right here. Come on. Seriously, it's 2021. USB-C. USB-C. Nobody's got time for this. All right. And it comes with two heart rate straps. Now, these appear to be your standard run-of-the-mill heart rate straps. Uh, I don't see what the difference is between the red versus the black. This looks, you know, identical to the one that's going to come on some of the Garmin units. So maybe the red is small and the black is large or vice versa. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if it's a size difference thing. No, they appear to be the same size-ish. So I will have to figure out what that is, the difference, and uh, maybe put that in the comments below. Uh, other than that, that's it. It's a nice box. You know, it's holiday season. I'll probably rewrap a gift in this or something. Uh, oh, you know what? I can't because this got a 30 day return policy. I don't want to have to open up a present to send it back if I don't like it. So anyway, decent box, um, well-made packaging. Again, QR codes all over the place. The QR code for set up the device tells you to download the app, which I will do right now. And that seems like it's pretty much about it. I mean, you put this on, you know, your chosen heart rate strap. And then I suppose that you get a crap ton of data. So I'll put up a little uh, screen showing the app once I've got it installed, maybe with some data flowing through it. Oh, that is tight. Uh, I'm worried I'm going to break the screen putting it on. I imagine that those will loosen up a little over time. But at the moment, very, very tight. In fact, I'm not even getting that one on all the way. There we go. Um, it seems robust. It doesn't seem like it's going to break anytime. So there we go. Heartworn EKG machine can be yours for the one-time low fee of $500. $400 if you get it on sale. Um, let's see here. Oh, I got the display window to light up some stuff here. All right, press connect app. All right, so we, we can see level of effort, level of strain. Uh, pff, oh, it does track breathing rate, by the way. That's kind of cool. Um, battery indication. And then it timed out. Let me see if I can cycle through these. I'm gonna bring this a little closer. See if that uh, lights up without getting too reflective on the screen. Battery indicator, all that stuff. I don't know about battery life on this. Again, I'm gonna put a link in the description below to the device manufacturer. Um, they have a lot of scientific claims about this. Uh, my coach is very interested in exploring some of the breathing rate things as well as the deeper uh, metrics about the heart. So maybe this would be the golden ticket. Okay, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to have a full review of this thing. I'm going to put it through its paces for at least a couple weeks. Obviously, no more than 30 days. Uh, I'll give it a full review and let you know, honestly, if I think it's worth the four to $500 that you'll pay for this. And I will let you know at the same time if my FSA covered it. Hopefully it does. All right. Thanks, everybody. Stop, uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, stay tuned. Got some more videos coming out real soon, but let me go uh, put this on. All right. See you guys next time.